It's a good question about whether or not what we're seeing around the globe now is really an increase in the number of newborn um, uh, deaths or uh, whether it's because we're now focusing more. In the last uh, 10 years, there's been a lot more effort by uh, various governments and uh, the World Health Organization and others to truly try and understand what the burden of disease of newborn deaths is around the globe. It turns out that prematurity and infections are the two leading causes of death under the, uh, during the newborn period. We've done a great job of actually reducing mortality in kids under the age of five, but there is this newborn window that has not been dealt with well, and now it makes up 44% of the deaths around the globe. So we really need to start turning our attention to how we take care of moms and babies, especially around the childbirth period, because that's the highest risk of mortality, both for the mother and for the newborn. And so what we're, I think we're learning is one, um, a lot of births because they occur at home. We're not counting everything that is occurring. Um, we're assuming that the 800,000 deaths due to infection and over a million deaths due to preterm birth are actually an accurate number, but actually these are estimates. And because more than 50% of births occur at home uh, in the developing world, uh, we're probably undercounting. So we may be actually losing uh, more kids than we, than we realize. So I, it may be a reporting issue, but we also may have a, a true problem with actually counting accurately. So we need to really increase our investments in understanding what is really going on um, around the time of uh, pregnancy and early uh, newborn period for uh, these low and middle income settings.